You know what the best recipe is for a perfect basketball game? It's quite simple, really. All it takes is a crosstown rivalry. It was Valencia against West Ranch. And to make things even better to put the cherry on top, it, it was the game to determine if Valencia was going to give West Ranch their first loss. And now let's look into those highlights. Coming right out of the gate, the Wildcats were fired up. Andrew Meadow was hot from the start, contributing six with the slam and taking the lead at the start. Later on, Vikings Jaden Ayers knew how to close out the first quarter with the buzzer beater from downtown. The Vikes were only down by five with a message to the Wildcats, we're not giving up anytime soon. The feeling was short-lived due to West Ranch's Jakari Miles swishing the three in the corner, giving the Wildcats an opportunity to pull further ahead. Near the end of the second quarter, Wildcats' Jazz Gardner with the fadeaway pushed the lead over Valencia to 19. During halftime, the Vikes would go into the locker room and try to come together and break the gap when they returned to the court. In the second half, the Wildcats came back to finish the job. Gardner hits the turnaround jump shot and gives the silence finger to the Vikings to close it out. West Ranch goes on to win game number 23 and number 9 in the Foothill League. The team is ready for more challenges on the road to be champions. Yeah, I think uh, the biggest thing with our team is just understanding that we have six, seven different guys that can all help us win. So understanding that we can't, we're not all going to score 20 points, that our numbers are going to go down, but that's the sacrifice we have to have to win a championship. With this victory over Valencia, the Wildcats are now shifting their focus to something even more bigger than the Foothill League title. As I also spoke with West Ranch player Jakari Miles, he told me that the team is looking forward to the playoffs, and not just any playoffs, the Open Division playoffs, where they'll be facing off against teams just like themselves. For reporting outside the West Ranch Gymnasium, this is Kyle Kawamoto reporting for Canyons News.